We've done uh, two decades of innovation and hard work, and this is the result. Um, we are opening up a whole new territory of astronomy. So uh, we will see things that we've never been able to see before because this telescope is much more powerful than even the great Hubble telescope. If you were a bumblebee, hovering out at the distance of the moon, we would be able to see you, both by your reflected sunlight and by the thermal irradiation, the heat that you emit. So uh, how, how can we do that? Um, we have brilliant engineering. We also have the most uh, astonishingly good detectors that have ever been made for picking up this infrared light. Uh, we would like to know, basically, how did we get here from the Big Bang? So what happened after the Big Bang? The first stars and galaxies happened some way. Uh, we've never seen, we, we have lots of predictions. <clears throat> we have supercomputer simulations. We can even show you a movie how, how it might have happened, but we don't know. You have to go look. Nature has this way of defeating our imagination. And uh, so astronomy has always been an observational science, and you just cannot depend on your imagination uh, alone. You can actually listen to the debate between James Webb, the administrator of NASA, and John Kennedy, the president of the United States, about where the U.S. needed to go next uh, if we were going to beat the Soviet Union, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and James Webb said, science is the future. Uh, that would be his legacy uh, to this agency, the fact that quietly he was one of the strongest advocates for science. And so uh, as a result of, of that particular trait, and the fact that he had been a, a previous NASA administrator, he was chosen uh, by one of my predecessors to actually be the namesake for this incredible instrument that we have today.